Right now we're ready for the second part in our drawing tutorial where we'll be creating um, the dimension drawing this time of the top part. Okay, so we can see here exactly what we'll be creating and this we'll be creating a section view again so we can get dimension the, um, the, the bolt holes properly and also cross section so we can see exactly what's going on through and what the dimensions are of these holes here where the counters are going to go in place. Okay, so if I just delete that, ready, uh, delete, yeah. yes, like before, um, as you can see down here what I've done is I've opened up the top view, okay, so making sure that's on the top configuration, um, I've opened that view up so that therefore we'll go across into here and when I bring it in it will automatically come up in my selection. So first of all we want to create new and um, we'll create a new sheet by clicking down there. As you can see, where I named that sheet before assembly has come up. Right, first off, what we'll do as well, guys, we'll save, save as in tic-tac-toe and toe drawing, we'll call it. Okay, so save that. Right. Okay, now we're ready to bring in our views to start off with. Like we've done before, we'll go view layout, model view, click on there. And um, we'll go down to top. As I say, it's already in the open document section, so it's nice and easy to bring up. Model top, and I'll go across to top view. Select that, and I will bring that across, like so. And then I'll also, again, bring another side view across. And so that's all right. Okay. So we've got those two views in. As you can see, it's already uh, brought in the views with the center marks in. Okay, so that's that's nicely done for us already. Right, first things first, what we need to do again is right-click sh Sheet Properties. So we go across to Properties. Um, we'll label this top. Okay, and the scale again, 2 to 1. That was fine. Press OK. So that's all done now. And again, like before, we need to um, we need to basically cut, do a drawn out cut section. So I'll go to sketch, spline, and we'll just draw quickly the spline around here, like so. Um, I might bring this down a bit. So if I click on. Select that and I'll bring this down slightly. If I just delete that. Right. So it had a relation on it, guys, so so it's just I'm just making sure that basically this whole uh this bolt section is in view. So I can tick that now. Now we can go to view layout. And we can add a broken out section. So click on broken out section. Uh, remember before I selected the spline. So select there. Broken out section. Depth. Preview. Okay. So we'll green tick that. Now we can see we've got my bolt section. So that's nicely done. Okay. Now before I can start dimensioning this, there's one more thing, one more view that I need and we're going to add a broken out section view. So if I go to section view up here, click on section view. Now I want to hover over here so I get the center point of this line and then I'll just drag up before clicking. Drag up and then click up here and then drag down and click down here. And what that's done now is added a broken out view. Okay. So, it's section C on mine. If you're doing it for the first time, it should be A, really. So, we brought that in now. We've got our section view of the center lines, which is all good. We can now actually start adding just our dimensions. And there's a way we can actually do this automatically. So, if I go across to annotations, and I'll go to model items up here. Basically, this is uh, automatically doing our uh, annotations which is our dimensioning for us so down here I can select the marks from draw for drawings button and whole wizard profiles okay so if I click on that and then green tick that 
it'll add oh I've got to insert a model sorry so if I select the model that's all done now okay wicked so we've got some we got that now but there's okay first off we need to neaten this up that's nice um, I'll drag all the ones out that I want so five this can come up like so uh, ten also that can come up so I might drag the five down just to make basically neaten it up a bit um, ten come across okay so we've got all the dimensionings for that hole now um, right down here it's a bit messy right so basically what I want to do is I want to delete these all these points here so if I can hold down shift and select all of them when I press delete okay now if I go up here to smart dimension what we can do is we'll add a dimension between them so I'll click on this circle here and I'll click on that circle there and what I can do is all I want to do is add one dimension that's 30 between them just makes things a lot nicer and, and clearer so I've got that now and there's one more dimension up here so if I click on here and I click on here then oops basically I don't want that if I click on that circle and I click on that circle there we go we want that dimension between there which is 46 okay and so we know that they are dead on 46 so from the center they'll be 23 okay because you can see that now we've added all of our dimensions there and this is almost ready to go um, all we've got to do now is right click remember before what we've done edit sheet format go down here uh, add my name John Fiddler date maybe as we've done before so okay, 1807 So that's just uh, <coughs> and in here I will add my top. Okay, so we're dimensioning the top revision one. Just just so you're getting used to the whole setup. Okay, so that's that done. Go up to my traffic light up here, click on that. So right click, go edit sheet. Okay, so that's all done. File save and that completes the second half of the tutorial. Right now it's time for the final part of the drawing tutorial. I'm going to quickly just run you through one more part just so you, you get the idea okay, again. And then the task will be at the end to actually create the drawings and dimension the um, counterparts and the bolt as well. So right, let's first off, I'll go and um, I want to open up my, <coughs> my bottom part. So this part here, I'm going to right click on that and go open within my assembly so it's open so basically this is open in the background so when I go down into my drawings okay it will be uh, I can be able to select it so I'll go across and I'll create a new sheet again and we'll go up to view layout model view now okay so now I want to go across to top select that and we want again our top view and I want to bring across a side view. Okay, so first things first, we go to properties, edit sheet format. Uh, sorry, down to properties. We'll add a scale of two to one, and we'll call the sheet bottom. Okay, so you can see here our names are being applied to it. And that's all okay. Right. Then we add a um, sketch, and we'll add a section view. like so go to view layout 
broken out section. Remember, I've got to select it first, broken out section, and we'll select the hole that we want it to go on there, and we'll preview that. Yup. Okay. We'll add some center lines in, like so. So we we'll go annotation, center lines, and we'll click on here. Right. Now, and now we're just ready to add our annotation. So I'll go to model items and then we'll select again drawing mark for elements. Green tick. Yes. Okay. So now that's added on everything we need. We don't need two tens there. We can start removing everything we don't need. So that's as we added uh whole wizard before that's an M five and that's to be tap four point two sixty sixty. So there we go. There are all the dimensions we need. Now we can just go to the final touch, edit sheet format, and uh go down again, right click, add my name and add the date. And I'm going to call it bottom. Right, and now we can click out of that. So I'll go to Edit Sheets and we'll save. Save all. Yes. And that concludes our drawing tutorial. The next task for you guys to do will be to go and create the drawings for the counters.